Nido, with its powdery white sand beaches and turquoise waters, is one of the top tourist destinations in Palawan, which is recognized as the best island in the world. The rapid growth of tourism is accompanied by the increase in the economic activity. Tourist accommodations, food establishments, and the local population began mushrooming in the area. However, its lack of sewage treatment and solid waste disposal system has caused the seawater quality in areas like Korongkorong and Bakwit Bay to reach high level of pollution, destroying El Nido seawater, beaches, and its sceneries. To address the problem, the provincial government of Palawan and the municipal government of El Nido teamed up in putting up the El Nido Sewage and Solid Waste Treatment Plant and Sewerage System. It is a state-of-the-art waste-to-energy treatment facility with a design treatment capacity of 2,400 cubic meters per day sewage, corresponding to 90% of the existing buildings in the Poblacion Barangays of El Nido. 20 metric tons of biodegradable solid waste, equivalent to 100% bio-waste generation of the entire municipality, and the power generation capacity of 240 kilowatt electricity, representing 20% of the municipality's total power demand. Located strategically at the town center point in Sitio Batbat, Barangay Villa Libertad, it is set to address the water pollution and solid waste problem of the entire town of El Nido. The design employs technologies that promote sustainable energy as the treatment facilities produce and make use of renewable bio and solar energies. Its capacity to treat and convert biodegradable municipal waste into electricity makes it a unique system that is one of a kind in the entire country. The facility is designed to provide comprehensive cleanup and treatment of the following types of wastes. Wastewater, septage, biodegradable waste. The project is envisioned not just to protect the environment, but also generate sustainable income to the LGUs, as the rate is computed to achieve full cost recovery. Payback period of the investment is estimated to be 10 years and an internal rate of return of investment is 12%. Through Palawan Water, a specialized technical office created by the province under the leadership of Governor Jose Chavez Alvarez, the project cost was reduced to 490 million pesos and generated a total savings of 170 million pesos due to the office's pro bono service. For sewage, the treatment process starts with the collection of sewage through a network of underground sewer pipelines which continuously capture sewage from the buildings and convey it into the cluster collector tanks. Sewage in the collector tanks are pumped using an off-grid solar pumping system with 275 kilowatts power capacity delivering it into the treatment plant located 5 kilometers away from Poblacion. Sewage undergoes primary secondary and tertiary treatment using activated sludge process, tube settler and dual stage filtration technology, producing final effluent water that passes the standards set by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources Water Quality Guidelines and General Effluent Standards of 2016. The facility has a laboratory that is equipped with a complete set of analyzers, which provide round-the-clock monitoring of the plant's effluent discharge. Septage and biodegradable solid waste undergo separate treatment called anaerobic digestion process, which employs natural treatment wherein microorganisms break down biodegradable materials in the absence of oxygen, converting it into biogas fuel. Biogas fuel produced is used to generate electricity using a 300 kVA biogas generator. This electricity, together with solar energy, is used to power up the entire facility. With enough biodegradable waste, the facility aims to produce enough power for the nearby community. Each process is monitored and commanded at the control tower. The facility is equipped with supervisory control and data acquisition 
or SCADA, for high level and automated supervision of machines and processes. This project is envisioned to safeguard and preserve the town's natural attractions, protect the fragile ecosystem, and boost the sustainability of the tourism industry in the municipality of El Nido.